that good day continues right now with Jack Aronson, founder of Garden Fresh, gourmet right there in Ferndale, and Big Al, Alan Muscovitz, radio personality, theater of the mind, advocate. And desperate for attention. <laughs> How's it going, guys? Good great, to see you. Great. Good, thank you. Uh, first of all, congratulations. Uh, tell, tell all the folks out there in TV land about uh, how your brand has gone from locally beloved to uh, internationally famous. Well, we um, actually were purchased by uh, the Campbell's Press Division, Bold House Farms, and uh, they've come in and they've retained all of our uh, employees. And uh, exciting things ahead. I'm in, with the company for the foreseeable future, so um, we're excited. And I've just been adopted by Jack. <laughs> I was just going to say, have you met any cousins that yes. you didn't know yes. you had? Animal, evidently. <laughs> yes. I love daddies. <laughs> Jack, you have a celebrity softball game coming up. It's a great event. We, uh, we were there last year. Tell us all about it. Well, it raises money for the Boys and Girls Club, which I'm a board member um, of Oakland and Macomb Counties. Um, a tremendous club. Brett Tillander is uh, our executive director. He's, I think he's the best director in the country. 2,500 kids. Every senior has graduated since 2003. Excellent. Nice work. Uh, you will be calling the game? I will be the so-called celebrity uh, sportscaster for the game. Uh, so when you're up at the plate, because I know you're playing, along with Tara Nasher from Fox 2 and Charlie LaDuff and Alan Longstreet, you're going to be out there. And I will be the one doing the play-by-play. -play. I'll be mostly eating uh, chips. If you bring enough. Yeah. The, the lineup of food is better than the lineup of players. How can we go from kale <laughs> over here <laughs> to chips? I need some nachos. Oh, here we go. Yeah, come yeah. on. We got salsa. There's nothing better. Nothing better. So it's this Saturday, by the way, July 11th at um, at Martin Road Park in Ferndale. All right. And game time's what? Uh, 12 o'clock, right, Jack? Right. We got some terrific barbecue um, and uh, all you can eat. Twelve dollars and fifty cents, right. and we're, what we're going to do? We're going to donate that twelve fifty, match it for another twelve fifty. Sponsors a child for a year. Who all is playing? I mean, we had some uh, retired athletes, some, some we, we uh, got, former college athletes last year. Yeah, um, there's going to be a bunch of folks out there that uh, that are going to surprise people. Some celebs. We've got uh, the guys from the ticket. Uh, Ninety-seven won the ticket. Are going to be there. Stoney's going to be there. We've got Bill McAllister and Tony Ortiz. Lila Lazarus is going to be there. And we just found out that uh, Ashley Gold from Hardcore Pawn is going to be there. So bring your jewelry with you, and maybe she can uh, trade it up and help the boys' clubs. Lessons. Club. Lessons have to have something else going on. They can't right. show up to it. Right. They got to show up. And so Peter Nielsen, Peter, Peter, Peter Nielsen will be there. So uh, we're, we're, we're throwing it out. If you are a legend in your own mind or a celebrity and still want to play, give give us self appointed, self appointed, right? But uh, Eminem, Kid Rock, we'd love to see them show up. <laughs> sure, that would be nice, wouldn't it? It would be nice. So. Uh, take us inside the Boys and Girls Club. Uh, they've been around a long time, but exactly what do? Uh, how do they help the youth? Well, uh, you know, it, it's it's. Um, it's respect, um, support, tutors are there, and it's just a great, great environment for kids to go after school and to be able to spend four productive hours, whether it's learning, mm -hmm. playing, or um, learning, one or the other. I looked up on their website, I was doing some research about the, the boys' clubs, and I saw that something like 57% of the alumni of the boys' and girls' clubs say that the clubs actually saved their life. Wow. Saved their life because of the supervision that they got from them. So it's unbelievable. That's a good cause. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, thanks for coming in and talking about it, and hopefully everybody out there in TV land will come see us uh, uh, Saturday in Ferndale. One more time, the Martin location. Road Park. Martin Road Park in Ferndale. It's easy to find. Uh, you can Google it. It's what, between... Uh, uh, Campbell Hilton Road and I-75. Right. It's yeah. a nice park. It's a real nice park. A real nice park. So bring your mitt, Jason, and go deep. I just <laughs> dug my mitt out of storage after the last time I used right. it. Right. So. Just don't, you're going to walk out of a cornfield and play. That's exactly right. If you build it, I'll come eat chips. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Lee, let's go over to you.